guys so something that probably that i didn't know that i just learned right now you can only deposit money on your m-pesa account once in a day apparently you can't do it twice otherwise it will be split transactions and it's not allowed so you can only deposit once in a day so i went to deposit again after depositing earlier and they refused so i have to do it tomorrow in the meantime i'll introduce you guys to somebody hello, hello. How are you all doing? I'm Mary the Traveler. I'm here with the, the Real Time. We are at Westlands. This is a nice place. I would recommend you come here when you visit Kenya. Ciao. All right. So this is Mary from here in Nairobi. Um, if you hear what, um, how should you introduce herself? Mary the Traveler. She should be making travel content as well. And I keep asking her when she's starting. But apparently she's gonna be starting soon so you'll be seeing her on youtube soon so mary yes give me some you know good things about nairobi maybe one or two good things about nairobi okay i would say that nairobi is the home of sweet nyamachoma so if you if you want sweet nyamachoma you can come this way you can come to nairobi <laughs> yeah and try some sweet nyamachoma okay so that's one thing the home of sweets and yamachoma that's true because we had some yamachoma yesterday it was good something else we also got uh, good good beaches in nairobi in i um, mean in, in kenya so if you're here you can try go to mombasa you see nice beaches good beaches you can visit watamu and you'll mm. enjoy okay what's your favorite thing to do here in nairobi, in nairobi. yeah i would say uh, so many things well, apart from hanging around with me, the time landing when I'm here, what else? Ah, so many things. So many like things. I can't even mention them. There are so many. Okay, give me just one. Uh, <laughs> one, like what comes on top of your head when you think about then, something like fun to do in Nairobi for you. Straight, what comes straight to your mind? Apart from eating sweet nyamachon. <laughs> what else? <laughs> like we got nice people here. Uh -huh. They're very loving. Uh huh. And Nairobi people are very happy, That's very cool. fun to be with. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, for those that have never been to Nairobi or even Kenya in general, yeah, how do you like tell them maybe one thing they should bring when they come into Nairobi that they have to bring? One thing they have to bring. Uh, it could be maybe like foreigners. Yeah. Anybody who's never been to Nairobi or Kenya, what's that one thing that they should bring when they come in here? They should just bring their, their swimsuits. Swimsuits, yeah. yeah we have got we got nice beaches here. Okay, bring your swimsuits. No sunscreen. Ah, they should come with their sunscreen. <laughs> like it's hot here. <laughs> swimsuits, sunscreen. Yeah. Okay, that's Mary. I wanted to introduce to you guys. Of course, we're gonna be talking to her a bit more later because we're gonna be talking about dating here in Nairobi. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're out here in Western Nairobi. We're on our way home. I keep filming this place here because it's so beautiful. Okay guys, I'll continue the video when we get home while I talk to Mary about dating here in Nairobi. <laughs> How do you feel? How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing cold. Very good. <laughs> Guys, that's, that, that's Mary trying to get used to the temperature of the water. Cold, yeah? Very. But you know what? The longer you stay in there, your body gets used to it. Let's take off the music for now. So. Let me keep you talking so you, you can warm up. <laughs> so talk to me. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of um, foreigners coming to Kenya? Visitors from outside. You think it's a good thing for Kenya or what do you think? Like, yeah, it's a good thing for Kenya. Mm -hmm. We need to visit. We need, need to visit. We need to visit. Okay. You have beautiful girls. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else? <laughs> What else? Um, uh, for 
Thank you for famous drawings. Uh -huh. They have beautiful, uh, they have handsome men. Mm -hmm. Beautiful like swimming pools. Eh? Hmm? Beautiful swimming pools, yeah? Uh, getting warmer. Getting warmer now, yeah? So Mary, yes. talk to me about dating here in Kenya. <laughs> How is it like? So if a guy, mm -hmm. okay, for you as a lady, right? How do you like, uh, how do you in general, let's just say general and then you. In general, how do Kenyan ladies like to be approached by a guy? Uh, I would say our, our, okay, I would say in general, Kenyan ladies, our language is money. We have money. <laughs> you, you get women. <laughs> if you have money, you get women. Yeah, have money. But wait, when you say that though, yeah? I'm saying when you, when somebody approaches you first, you, do, you might not know that person's got money, right? Yeah. But how do Kenyan ladies like to be approached by a guy? Do you prefer somebody who's direct to come to you and be like, hey, how you doing? What's your name? I'm this. I think you're cute. Um, I'd like to get to know you. Do you like somebody straight like that? Or somebody who comes to you and be like, hey, where are you going? Somebody who kind of like goes... Around the yeah. No, you don't want that. You prefer direct approach? Direct. Okay, cool. to, uh, okay. you, you tell the lady to tell you exactly what they want. Okay. Not around the bush. Okay. So for you, what about you yourself? If you see a guy that you find attractive, mm -hmm. would you approach them and introduce yourself? No, forbidden. <laughs> you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would never try. So is that like a general Kenyan thing or just your thing? I would say ninety nine percent of ladies would yeah. do that. They wouldn't. They would do the they would that, yeah. Oh, okay. And have you... 1% wood. Mm -hmm. uh, now this lady is already there, but I'm not. Okay. Man, yeah. Okay, cool. Where would be your ideal first date to go to? Where would you like a guy to take you on a first date? Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm very adventurous, so mm -hmm. I would love my first date to be at the park. At the bar? At the park, at the park. Oh, at the park? Yeah. Okay, like taking a stroll in the park? Or like a picnic kind of thing? Like a picnic? Mm -hmm. In the park. park. Where we we'll see wild animals. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, same strong vibes to me. Okay. Like that, yeah. Romantic vibes, yeah, eh? Yeah, romantic, yeah. I love romantic vibes, yeah. Okay. So, um, have you ever dated a, um, a visitor or a foreigner before? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, but would you? Would you date a foreigner? I Somebody from the yeah. from outside? I had a very romantic, so I don't know. I would really love to try. Okay, <laughs> what do you look for in a guy? What all like all you can all you can answer that in general? What do Kenyan ladies look for in a guy? We already we already said money. <laughs> <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else? Mm, I would say the vibe. Oh, okay, let me just talk about myself. Mm -hmm. mm, for me, it's the vibe. Mm -hmm. If you vibe, I'm good. I'm closer to here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the vibe, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you vibe, you're good. Yeah. Okay, what else? Another one, another thing. Mm. You must be romantic, I love romantic men. So romantic, mm -hmm. has to have money, and a good vibe, yeah? Mm, if you not really have money, but money is an added advantage. Mm. Uh, because no one wants to suffer. Of course, life. money is important. Yeah. Money is important, yeah. Okay, so, um, do you, um, with all of those things you said, yeah, mm -hmm. does race matter to you? Do you, do you care about any race, by like race, where they, um, how they look like, or their background, where they come from? No, I don't care about the race. As long as you vibe? Uh, provided as you vibe, mm -hmm. provided you vibe, mm, romantic, mm -hmm. just be a gentleman, mm -hmm. and just have money. And he shares drinks <laughs> with you? Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So, have you, um, so I asked you earlier about, um, like, visitors of foreigners coming to Kenya. What are your experiences been like with foreigners, like, overall? People who visit, um, Kenya, because obviously, like, you met, you know, like, my, my boy, um, Black Man the Traveler, you met, you, you know, Conte and stuff. But overall, in general, when you meet foreigners, like, overall, if you generalize, what's been your experience with, you know, visitors of foreigners? Including you? Including me. Yeah. I don't really 
know how to put this, but in general, mm -hmm. they have all been very good. They have vibed very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They vibe so much with black man, mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So overall, experience, your experience with so far, visit as a foreigner has been good, yeah? Mm -hmm. There you had it. There you, there you, you had it here, guys. So um, she's had good experiences with foreigners. Obviously, she um, like reason why I met Mary. Um, I met her through my friend, uh, Batman the Traveler and Ponte, content creators. They came here in Kenya. They were making content, and I literally met her through them. So yeah, that's why I was asking her about you know for, you know us coming here, high experiences. But saying overall, it's been good. So Mary, apart from swimming. What are your hobbies? What do you like doing? So if a so, guy, so if a guy wants to meet you I, I, and they want to know your hobbies, what do you like doing? Traveling. Mm -hmm. My first hobby. Traveling to yeah. what's your what's? Okay. I don't like swimming because I don't know how to swim. Oh, really? I don't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah. See where I am. I Guys, pool. it's true. I kind of like. Uh, I suggested them um, Mary to get into into yeah. the pool, but it's getting a bit dark and it's a bit cold, but. <laughs> She was brave enough to get in, right? but she's saying she doesn't know how to swim. But you know, she's brave enough to get in the water. So, so if you have like to pick like three destinations, yeah, in the yeah, world, in the world, what would you pick? Like the top three? Maldives. Maldives. What else? Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> What's the third one? What? What's the last one? The third one. The last one. So, so we got Maldives, Switzerland. What's the What's the third option? Mm, Santorini. Which? Santorini. Mm. Okay. So have you been to any of them before or not yet? No. Okay. So if you if you're looking if you wanna um yes, manifesting. Yeah, manifesting. So guys, that's the top three destination. Maldives. So if you're from Greece, if you are watching and you are from Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. If you're watching. If you're watching and you're from Greece, uh -huh. maybe the traveler is here for you. Or Switzerland. Or Switzerland. Or the Maldives. Or the Maldives. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> So if you're watching and you're from those three destinations, say hello to Mary the Traveler. <laughs> okay, so um, finally, in the future, right? If you meet somebody and you yeah. vibe and everything goes well, would you love would you love to get married or marriage is not really important to you as long as vibe? It's very important. I would love to get married and have kids. Okay. How many kids would you want in general? Four. Like a four. Four? Yeah. Maximum? Yeah. Okay. But the guy must be a traveler. The guy must be a traveler. Yeah. All right, guys, you're, you're hearing this, yeah? <laughs> um, if you're from Maldives, uh, Switzerland, or Greece, or and you, yeah, and you love to travel, and you want to have at least four kids, <laughs> <laughs> and you can vibe, and you got money, and yeah, romantic. and romantic, ready to go on picnic, Mary is here. I'm okay, so traditionally here in Kenya, when you're getting married, like when Kenyan Kenyan ladies are getting married. What is it like? Because in different traditions, they demand certain things. What does the, the man have to offer, like your family or something like that? What they do they have to bring to the table? They must be dowry. What's that? In form of animals. Okay. Cows, they are cattle. How many does it have to be? Is there like a number to it? No, or no, it doesn't matter. Whatever they can manage. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You can bring two, three, mm -hmm. depends with your money, with your pocket. Okay. Yeah. And then, so as long as you bring, what do they call it? Dairy? Dairy, yeah. Dairy, yeah. Okay, so cows and. Cows, sheep, you can bring a sheep, sheep, not a sheep. Mm. One sheep, you're not, you're not going to be allowed. Okay. <laughs> so sheep, yeah? Yeah, sheep. And cows, yeah? And cows. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, you had it here. So, if you want to marry a Kenyan lady, you, you have prepared. to, you know, be prepared to, you know, offer the family loads of animals. Yeah, cows. They're very beautiful, romantic. Very so yeah, a lot of cows, sheep, um, goats. No, goats. I don't think so. No. no. So cows and sheep. Oh yeah, and money. You need to bring money. Money. <laughs> gold, gold, silver, Bitcoin. No, no. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Ah no no. No no, <laughs> no, no Bitcoin. Eh? No Bitcoin. <laughs> because so much. Do they take checks? Mm -hmm. Do they take checks? No, 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 no checks, checks yeah. money. Cash, yeah? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> no checks, cash. no Bitcoin, just cash. All right, so this is Mary. I just wanted to talk to her about dating here in Kenya. Because I know people are always wondering about, you know, dating in different places. So 
when I meet, you know, people from different countries, I like to, you I know, ask a question for you guys. And what? Polygamy is allowed. Polygamy? Mm -hmm. Oh, polygamy is actually, it's legal. As long as you can take good care of them. Ah, there you go. So <laughs> another thing as well, so polygamy it's is allowed. legal. Okay. It's allowed here in Kenya, as long as you can take care of all your women, okay? That's another thing I didn't know. So for you guys who stay in countries where only monogamy, monogamy is allowed and polygamy is, um, you know, it's not allowed here, you can do your thing as long as you can take care of all your ladies. All right. Any last thought? Any last um, last minute thoughts for the people? Okay. Anything at all? You can follow me on my Instagram, Mary the Child. Okay. Yeah. That's where I can you know find you. Eh? Yeah. Instagram. Mary, the Mary traveler. the Traveler. One word, yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. Okay, guys, that was Mary the Traveler here in Nairobi, Kenya, in the cold water, in the cold pool. <laughs> <laughs> but she's catching a vibe, so it's so good. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Peace.